Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm your host Mark Fusco here for another edition of the show. All right, so I uh, got some more Parducci wines. Now, these are the ones that actually have the Parducci label on it. I forgot to mention on the last one, uh, the actual parent company, I guess, the Mendocino Wine Company. Um, they say, uh, well, it says 2017 marks the 85th, 85th anniversary of Parducci Wine Cellars, the longest running winery in Mendocino County. Uh, family owned and operated by the Thornhill family, uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and they've won a bunch of awards and, and all kinds of stuff. Um, they, they, uh, these are part of their, what they call their heritage portfolio. So we have the small lot and then next week we're going to be doing the True Grit Reserve. Um, small lot wines are crafted in a style to be approachable and delicious every day. Um... They say that uh, they are varietally correct wines that are juicy, flavorful, and are a fine representation of the fruit being cultivated in Mendocino County, as well as the winemaking skill of Bob Swain and Nicole Burstall. All right, so um, these are definitely uh, in the value range of, of wines, and uh, we're going to get right into it. Boom. Oh, I forgot to mention there's a hurricane. Well, it already happened like three weeks ago or two weeks ago. I hope everything. I hope everything's good. Um, I mean, I, I mean, I'm not trying to be stupid, uh, stupid or like make light of it. I mean, I really hope uh, the Texas coast and or Louisiana, if, wherever it hits, I hope everybody was safe because um, it looked like it was going to be pretty, uh, pretty major hurricane. And in San Antonio, we should be fairly well protected, but you just never know. All right, so uh, anyway, but by now it's all old news. So, all right. So the first one we got here going on is, boom. I should have put these fact sheets in order. It is the 2015 uh, Parducci Small Lot Chardonnay. 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 -ne. I'm not whipping. All right, uh, suggested retail price is $12.99. Um, bam, get a little rinse so I'm not making myself a little homemade rosé. Um, anyway, it's 100% uh, Chardonnay from Mendocino County, and uh, they use 20% new French oak and then 80% stainless steel. Um, so Mendocino County is part of the North Coast uh, region. There are five counties that are part of this, and I kind of forget that there's more than just Napa and Sonoma, which unfortunately that's what the identity of these places suffer, that people forget that part. Mendocino County is actually the northernmost county of that. Then you have a little county called, see from your perspective, Lake County, which I had some really awesome wines from Lake County at Texom. Um, and then you've got Napa, Sonoma, and then you have Marin County, which is basically where San Francisco is. Um, so, uh, this is, you know, pretty far north and, uh, it says we celebrate the golden reputation of Chardonnay with our best grapes harvested from the valleys near the Russian river, not the Russian river valley in Sonoma, but the Russian river, uh, and winemaking that embraces each wine's unique varietal qualities. Um, so let's check it out. Uh, just right on the nose. I mean, Definitely, like I said, it's varietally correct. I mean, I put my nose in this, I know I'm drinking Chardonnay. Like, I don't even have to drink it to go, yeah, it's Chardonnay, which is good. I like that. Um, lots of apple, green apple, cantaloupe, melon, tropical fruit. Peach, white peach, stone fruit. Mm. 
bit of white flowers. The oak really is not uh, coming through a whole lot, which I mean, it's only 20% new French oak, but there's a touch of there's a there's a touch of uh, spices coming through, but it really smells pretty clean. And on the nose alone, I'm I'm going to venture there may not be much mallow on it. There's no mention of it. There is a touch of vanilla, a touch of creaminess to it. So maybe there's a part of it, maybe the, the French oak part goes through mallow, um, but it's still got a fair amount of that apple, that uh, now yellow apple, not just green apple. Um, I mean, all red, yellow, and green, really. Um, some apple skin. some caramel I mean it's a really tasty wine I, I must be going through a I must be entering a phase where I'm really starting to like just Chardonnay in general maybe I'm anticipating that I'm going to Burgundy and I need to actually like the Chardonnay when I go there um I like Chardonnay I like white Burgundy I do just like everybody else I have preferences but I definitely I'm I'm so looking forward to Burgundy and like just throwing down some great Chardonnay and some Pinot Noir and then maybe then uh, hop down to uh, Beaujolais. Oh, I cannot wait for that one day. Um, I, I kind of wish I was all the whole time in Beaujolais, but man, I got to give Burgundy some props too because it is like, yeah, like Bordeaux, you, you got to go. And I'm so looking forward to checking out the landscape there. So looking forward to Chablis. I've actually got my, well, at this point, I hopefully have more, more, um, Appointments, but I already have one producer in Chablis set up uh, for my day that I'll be in Chablis, and I'm so so stoked about that. Let me tell you, of the wines I've already had from last week's show and this week so far, this is by far my favorite wine, and that's telling you a lot. It's a Chardonnay, and I I I, I like it. Especially because it's 13 bucks. Like, I could easily see paying more for that. No problem. All right, let's move on to wine number two. Boom, let's throw this up here. Bam. All right, um, also, no, sorry. This one is retails for $14.99, suggested retail price. It is a 2014 small lot, Parducci small lot Pinot Noir, also from Mendocino County. Uh, it says we specialize in the complex flavors. Okay, uh, they they harvest premium grapes from the famed from famed. They don't say which ones they are. Uh, Mendocino County vineyards, uh, and then of course they wine making that the unique varietal style. All right, it is one hundred percent Pinot Noir. Um, it is aged twelve months, twenty percent new French oak, eighty in neutral barrels. So it's uh, similar to the Chardonnay. They don't want the, it sounds like they don't want the oak to overly impact the wine. I can already tell you, it looks varietally correct for Pinot Noir. Very nice. It doesn't look like it's got a bunch of other, some other grape in there to give it some color or added color. Why do they do that? I mean, let, let the Pinot Noir be Pinot Noir. It's actually kind of... It could be just how the, how the lights are and everything, but it almost like there's a touch of orange to it. Like really, which that would tell me there's some oxidation potentially. I mean, it's only three years old, so it's not like, you know, the, 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 the orange would be the age, but it's, it's definitely got this, an orange tinge to it. Not like Italian wine orange, but just kind of a little, a little tinge to it. Very spice driven. Yeah, very spice driven. Um, s 
cedar box, potpourri. The nose is not fruit forward by any means. Some forest floor. I mean, I get like cranberry if if I've, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna struggle for a fruit, it's like cranberry. I don't get like cherry necessarily. But yeah, what really just driven with with uh, spice, cloves, things like that. Pine. It's actually kind of nice, but. With that said, kind of like last week, there's from the Zen, there's like there's a Californianess to it. There is definitely a Californianess that I get from a lot of Pinot Noir from California, which, okay, truth be told, Oregon's usually my favorite of the Pinot Noirs, followed by Burgundy, then California. But there's some California Pinot Noirs that just, you know, are really good. Um, and, but they tend to be really pricey, so. But it smells pretty good. Unless there's also kind of a tar rubber quality to it. Not in a bad way. Just something a little different. The fruit's coming through a little bit more. Um, a little, definitely some more tart cherry. Um, yeah, I'm kind of tart. It's not super tart. I mean, the cherry's there, but it's not super ripe. Um, it's like a, a like a like a one of those little candy cherry sours. Very much like that, except not sweet, but like a cherry a, a cherry sour sour cherry candy. So it has that candy aspect too. Um, so it's that spice driven. Um, there is a bit of woodsiness to it. Um, a little red hot. Um, it says 13 and a half alcohol. They might be pushing a little bit higher because I feel a little bit of a burn to it. Um, it's got a, uh, um, I don't call it a bitterness, but a sharpness to it. Um, uh, 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 it seems like the acid's pretty high. Um, ooh, there was something there that was really interesting. Like a, I think it was just more like a cinnamon, like like red hot kind of really, not overpowered, but really just came prominent uh, in there. It's if you like this style of Pinot Noir, you're gonna love this wine, especially for it's 15 bucks. It's not necessarily my cup of tea, Pinot. Um, I can tell you it doesn't, it's closer to an organ Pinot than it is to the stereotypical Cali Pinot that's got Syrah in it or whatever, you know, to beef it up. Um, it is varietally correct. And um, I mean, the price point seems to be right. So if this is a style of uh, Pinot that you like, then definitely go buy it. But if you're like me, I probably would, just on a personal note, I wouldn't really seek it out just just not my style of pinot but um like i said it's like movies you know sometimes the movie critic just doesn't really particularly care for a certain style of movie but he has to he has to at least critique it for is it well made and is, was it a well-made movie and you know is the plot structure good and all that you know it's for the price point it's exactly what you should expect it's well made uh, it is in balance um it has the flavors you should expect from what, what you're getting, and uh, like I said, if you like that style, then go for it. Um, wine number three. All right, so uh, we are now at the uh, 2014 Parducci Small Lot Cabernet Sauvignon, also Mendocino County. Uh, so let's see what the little thing says here. 
We honor the rich heritage of Cabernet Sauvignon with grapes harvested from Mendocino County's premium inland vineyards. And they make they make sure they embrace the varietal characteristics. All right. Uh, this is actually 98% Cabernet Sauvignon. And they throw 2% Merlot in there. All from Mendocino County. Uh, 22 months in... Uh, aged 22 months, 25% in new French oak barrels, 75% in neutral barrels. Uh, I don't know if the other, I'll put this here. I don't know if the other tech sheets talked about when it was bottled. They may have, I just may have just overlooked it. This one was bottled in the fall 2016. Uh, the Chardonnay was also bottled in the fall 2016 and the Pinot was bottled in the spring of 2016. All right, um, let's get right into it. Boom. Deep red color, really ruby. Very cherry. I actually feel like I get a bit of... Um, green to it as in pyrazine as in bell pepper um a little bit of leather like new like brand new like leather wallet type of thing really cherry raspberry candy um i'll be honest my first one nose and i was like oh no i didn't suck but now it's opened up a little bit i'm really enjoying the nose There is a bit of like tire to it. I know we're not really supposed to get that from a cab and that might be a little concerning. But it's kind of interesting. Violets. I really haven't talked about too many spices. Um, <laughs> Really just trying to find the evidence of uh, new oak in here, especially French new oak. It's clean, very clean smelling. Um, but it's it's not super intense. So I was kind of expecting a little more intensity on it, but let's, let's uh, check it out. It's also retails for... Twelve ninety, yeah, twelve ninety nine. Definitely like this one. I actually like this wine. Um, yes, it tastes very much like a lot of California cabs, um, but I just like the flavor profile of it. Um, it's definitely very raspberry driven, uh, bright red raspberry, uh, just a little res raspberry candy, um, a touch of cinnamon to it. Um, Tannins are not overpowering. A touch of bell pepper. You know what's also 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 about this red wine? Gets the alcohol. 13.5. And it tastes like it's 13.5. Like it doesn't taste hot. Like I could sip on this. I could sip on this wine. This is like, I wouldn't call it restrained, but I mean, considering most calves from California, at least 14%, pretty impressed. That might be why there's a touch of green to it. This, these, even though it's a uh, 14 and I don't know if 14 being a, a challenging vintage, um, they may have intentionally picked the grapes, you know, slightly less ripe than maybe other people. bit of a oregano uh, also to it. I like the wine. I like the wine a lot. Of these three, I like this one the best. This is one, two, three. Um, yeah. Especially for $13. I mean, why not? I think it's a really good value for that. 
Uh, I would not be disappointed if I had to have some of that uh, at someone's place or at a restaurant, whatever. It's good stuff, man. I would actually, I would actually consider buying it for myself. All right. So that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, as always, thank you for stopping by. Click the links above to friend me up. Click the links below, about, or the link really, uh, to learn more about the Parducci line of wines. Um, they definitely have some uh, uh, sustainable, and which actually, this one is. This was, this, all these wines are certified California sustainable wine growing. I don't really talk about that too much, or organic or sustainable, but um, besides all the just hype about these things uh i just think that type of farming makes sense um in, in just in general not not trying to get all preachy or or off the wall or you know the type of stuff but um farming in this method whether it's biodynamic sustainable organic which unfortunately depending on where you're at has completely different meanings and just because it's organic doesn't mean they use chemicals. Okay, you can use chemicals that are organic. You can use organic pesticides. Organic doesn't mean, you know, they didn't take a shower for five months, okay? You know, they're not hugging a tree and, and wearing Birkenstocks and they don't never shower. That's not organic, okay? You can be. That's more like natural winemaking. Um, but there's, there's, a, there's a way of doing things that help preserve the quality of your crop. Um, and uh, I, I do believe in that. So a few other things I believe I've come to believe from studying wine, but I won't get into that stuff. Um, buy this wine. Buy this wine. If you like this style one, then buy it. If not, then don't buy it. But these, I think, are my favorites of the three. Um, and like I said, links, links. Donate button over there. So help defray the cost of uh, burgundy. And uh, we'll see everyone again next time.